Hi guys, I'm back to vlogging. I'm in the car with Ben. And we're going to get brunch right now, even though it is 1.45 and the brunch ends at two o'clock. Hopefully we can get it. Otherwise, I'm going to flip out. We're gonna cause a scene and we're gonna leave. Just kidding, I'll just get something else. We just finished eating brunch. It was pretty delicious. I am full. I got eggs, bacon, pancakes, home fries, and toast. But right now, we are going to this new small boutique that opened. It closes at 3 though, and it's 2.35 right now. So, yeah, we're going to check that out. So, I didn't film in that boutique we went in because there was hardly anyone in there and I was too embarrassed to do it. But I did buy a romper in there and they had a lot of cute clothing. Ben and I got Chick-fil-A milkshakes. The best milkshakes around. And I don't know what we're doing now. This is kind of just a wandering aimless day where we don't really know what's going on. Would you agree, Ben? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think of the milkshake? It's good. Hi, guys. It is later on in the day now. I have my hair in a low ponytail, and I never put my hair in a ponytail, so this is weird, but <laughs> my curls fell out throughout the day, so it's just completely straight now, but also, like, lumpy and weird, so just put it in a ponytail because there's really no saving it and I don't feel like recurling it so there's that I thought I would just give an update on my life since the last time I vlogged because I haven't vlogged in a while maybe like a month I really am not liking my hair but it's distracting me I haven't vlogged in like a month because well first my trial ad competition was coming up so everything got really busy and then I spilled water in my purse while I had my laptop and my camera in it so my laptop was shot I had to buy a new laptop right around the time of my competition so I was like stressed out about that and my camera wasn't water damaged but I put it in a bag of rice to make sure I would get all the water out of it and I think that did something to the card hold the card reader of my camera so I was trying to fix it and then I ended up making it worse so I essentially broke the card reader <laughs> while I was trying to um, fix it because it wouldn't like detect that my card was in it so I sent it to Canon to be repaired and they ended up just sending me a new camera so I got a new camera and back to business, but that's what's been happening. My trial ad competition, we actually ended up winning. So now we go to nationals, which is at the end of March. So trial ad will continue and I will continue to be really stressed out about it because <laughs> it's just so time consuming. I was kind of looking forward to being done because we didn't expect to win this competition because we had been told that the same school wins every single year and that there was like a small chance that we would win so we went in expecting not to win but we were like we'll try our best and see what happens and we ended up winning so we were happy about it but at the same time we were all kind of expecting to be done and i think the thought of having to keep doing it stressed everybody out including me like whenever we came back i was just completely overwhelmed by everything because it was just a change of mindset like i thought i was going to be taking it easy and relaxing a little bit and it ended up just being right back into the stress and i was not prepared for it so i was pretty stressed out when i came back from that competition but I'm back to normal now, I've got things under control, and I'm ready to prepare for this competition because it's coming up soon. We only have like four weeks to prepare for it, maybe even less. 
if it's at the end of March. It's already March 2nd or 3rd, so not a lot of time, but we can do it. Tomorrow morning, I have trilad practice because we're starting those up again. And every Sunday, we practice at 10 a.m. So I have my practice tomorrow. And this week is actually my spring break, <laughs> but it's not really a break for me. I have trilad practice on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And then I work Tuesday and Friday, a full day, 8.30 to 5.30. So, not much of a break but it will be a little bit i'll have a couple days off um to do nothing <laughs> on monday i think i'm going to go to this bakery with my family so that will be nice but right now ben and i are going to eat it's like nine o'clock it's past nine o'clock but we had that big brunch around two so we weren't hungry until now so i'm not even really hungry still but i have to eat something eloise is being weird I don't know what is over here, but she keeps coming over here and staring into this light. I wonder if there's a bug in it. No, I'm not really sure what you're doing. What are you doing, Eloise, huh? Why are you being a little weirdo? We're going to Outback Steakhouse. I really never go to Outback Steakhouse. The only times I really go are with Ben's family because they like it, I guess. I don't know. But I really like the bloomin' onion there, so gonna have one of those and I don't know what else. We'll see. But let's go. It is currently around 8 o'clock on Sunday. I'm not usually up this early on a Sunday. I like my sleep and I like to sleep in. And I'm whispering because Ben is sleeping right now and I don't want to wake him up. But I had to wake up early because I have trilad at 10 and I need to finish writing something before I leave to go to trilad. So I am up now, got my coffee, and I'm going to finish up writing my direct examination. I practice today, we're just going through our direct examinations, obviously, and then I think the next practice will probably do the cross examinations, and then after that we'll probably do the openings. I think since this fact pattern is a little more complicated than our fact pattern last semester, we're doing things a little bit differently. So last semester we wrote all of our statements first, so we would write our opening if we were doing an opening or closing if we're doing a closing but that is not what's happening this time around because i think we're still trying to get a handle of what the themes are and what the theories are and how we want to approach this and it's just easier to work that all out if you do directs and crosses because that's really getting to the meat of the facts so yeah Eloise is caressing my camera. <laughs> oh, Eloise. Ben is doing his homework <laughs> and I am going to take down my Valentine's Day decorations because I still have them up and I'm going to put up my St. Patrick's Day decorations. I don't have very many. I only have a banner and another thing that hangs. <laughs> But at least it's something and gotta get fester for St. Patrick's Day because after all I am Irish, I am a ginger, gotta represent the leprechauns, you know. All I have is this banner, which looks like that, and this banner, which looks like that. And I got both of these at 
Target. And as you can see, they were really cheap. I think this was only like $3 and this was $3, so. feel about that thing. I think it looks kind of weird. It would look better if I had some fairy lights on it, like the green fairy lights. But I don't have it on there right now and it looks a little odd. Kind of reminds right. me of pom-poms that she use. Right here. Whatever. I'm like leaving this. it like that for now. Those are my St. Patrick's Day decorations. Kind right. of pale in comparison to all my other decorations I have throughout the year. But it will do. I got my Barbary box of books in the mail the other day with the books to study for the bar. Here it is. It is very heavy, but I'm going to open it right now and see what's inside. So I chose Barbary for my bar prep. There's the main ones are Barbary, Themis, and Kaplan. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to do Themis or Barbary because we use Themis for my core comps class. Everyone says they're basically the same thing and of the same quality, but I chose Barbary just because I use Barbary to study for the MPRE and I liked it when I used it for that. And when we do Themis now for core comps, I don't like it as much as I liked Barbary for Themis, for, um, not Themis, as much as I like Barbary for the MPRE. Um, just because of the interface online, and I think the questions Barbary uses are harder than the practice questions that Themis uses, but I think that's better um, to prepare you for an actual exam. Um, but that's the only reason I chose Barbary. Honestly, they're so similar that I don't even think it matters which one you choose. So here's what's in my box. <laughs> I got the Convisor Mini Review for Pennsylvania. Oh, these are heavy. <laughs> Essay testing for Pennsylvania. I'm taking a bar in Pennsylvania, by the way. <laughs> Lecture handouts for Pennsylvania. These books are all so big. <laughs> kind of makes me nervous to study for the bar now. Outlines for Pennsylvania. MBE practice questions. That's the multiple choice. Outlines for multi-state. And simulated MBE. That's a lot of books. And after I graduate, I will delve into those. But for now, I'm gonna forget I even opened this. <laughs> Hi guys, it is Monday now, and like I said before, it's my spring break right now, and um, I have to work on Tuesday and Friday, but today I'm going to this bakery place with my mom um, that just opened, and <laughs> please, it just opened, and it's like a really big bakery, and they have good baked goods, and I really like their coconut donuts. Eloise is gonna do this the whole time because she's annoying. But right now I am just putting my makeup on, doing my hair, and getting ready to go. I was up at like seven o'clock this morning because Ben got up to go to work and then I just kind of laid around and went in and out of sleep but I wish I would have just woke up at seven because I ended up waking up at like 8 45 when I could have been up at seven and getting ready and getting into my day. And when I was in and out of sleep, it like didn't even feel more refreshing. I was just laying there, it kind of made me feel worse. <laughs> so should have just got up, but whatever. I'm drinking this, I think it's called Stock Cold Brew. You can get it at Target or wherever, any supermarket really. But it looks like I'm a badass and drinking black coffee, but it really tastes mild and I can normally never drink black coffee, but I didn't have any milk and this tastes like fine without milk in it, so that's pretty good. My mom's gonna be coming here in like a half an hour, so I have to hurry. My skin has been so bad recently and I don't really know why. I tried to put, um, it's not called Retin-A, but it's like Retin-A, um, it's like a generic brand on my 
acne because I was breaking out but then that just made my whole face super dry and flaky so it's a lose-lose situation I really shouldn't complain about my skin being bad because my skin used to be horrible like deep cystic acne all over my face which is why I have these nice scars all over my face I should really be grateful if I only have a couple pimples here or there because at least it's not all over my face and not deep I hate when pimples are like deep and painful and those are the kind that cause the scars on your face but really in the end it's just skin so does it really matter no I dropped my eyeshadow thing the other day and it broke and went everywhere. I hate when that happens because it's just like watching $40 shatter before your eyes or however much you paid for your eyeshadow. They need to create like shatterproof cases for eyeshadow like they do for iPhones. My mom is here now so I am leaving but here is my outfit. This top is from Lulu's. I really like the sleeves and it's like a sweater material, but everything sticks to it. Like every piece of lint and every hair sticks to it. So that's annoying. My necklace is from Etsy. My belt is from Lulu's. My jeans are from Fashion Nova and my shoes are from Lulu's. So yeah, that's my outfit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now let's go get some baked goods. We have arrived at the bakery. I'm here with my mom. This parking lot, quite chaotic, but we're going in. We're at the bakery now. <laughs> Here's what we got. There's a donut in there for my brother. <laughs> Some beignets. <laughs> Hot cheese. And then there's a nut roll in there and a cinnamon roll thing. And these are what we really came for. The coconut donut. Oh yes. We got a dozen. Well, they're not all for us. <laughs> We're just gonna sit here and eat a dozen donuts. <laughs> I would actually do that though. We got some sandwiches. I got a latte, mom got tea. Oh yes. My mom and I are going to this burger place right now. Burger Burger. Called Burger Burger. <laughs> Let's cross the street. Don't get hit by a car now. Hi guys. It is Wednesday now, and I'm sitting in a rocking chair. Rocking. With Eloise by my side. Hi. And like I said, this week is my spring break, so I do not have classes today. I normally would, but I don't today. I also don't work, and I don't have trial So I actually have a free day. It is about 10 o'clock right now. Um, and I need to go to the grocery store to get groceries So I'm sitting here making a list on my phone for the groceries that I need so I have that when I'm at the store I use this app called any list and you can create a list and like cross it off once you get to the store and you can also share your list with other people so like if I'm at the store and Ben needs um, to add something to the list. He can do that because I've shared the list with him. Today I would also like to clean up the apartment because I haven't done that in a while. Give it a good scrubbing. And I also need to write something for Trilad. I need to write an opening for Trilad and that is going to take me a while to write. It'll probably take me like five hours or more. So, <clears throat> I need to block out a good chunk of time to do that, 
I also have time to do it tomorrow as well because I have practice um, tomorrow night which is at 5.30. So I have until before 5.30 tomorrow to work on it too. But I would like to get most of it done today at least. But yeah, that's what's happening today. Also on Monday, my mom and I went shopping a little bit. We went to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I got some things there so I could show you that. Let me show you. First thing I got is this, um, I don't know what you call this, kimono? But I thought that would be cute over a black dress. I got that at TJ Maxx for $17. Yes. I also got these shoes at TJ Maxx. It's hard to see. They're like a slide on with a little heel. And I really liked the color of them. They're like a nice lilac purple color for spring. I wasn't really sure when I would wear these, but I just really liked them. I thought they were cute. Uh, they were $30 at TJ Maxx. This is my favorite thing that I got. It's this plant that is fake but I want to hang it up in the corner by my desk. Um, I guess I would have to get a hook to put it on the ceiling. Just to add a little greenery to my office space. <laughs> I got this at TJ Maxx too. Oh, no, I got this at Marshalls and I think it was $12. And then I got these hangers at Marshalls. They're velvet and gray with the rose gold handle. And they're from the brand Closet Complete. I know you can get these online because I bought them for my whole closet online on the Closet Complete website. And I changed out all my hangers in my closet, but I needed a couple more and I happened to find them at Marshalls. And I think they were like a little bit cheaper at Marshalls, maybe like a dollar cheaper or something like that than they were on the website. But yeah, I actually filmed a whole video earlier when my this camera was broken using my old camera that has worse quality um, I filmed a video of me updating my hangers in my closet but I didn't turn it into an actual video because I was just annoyed with the quality of it and I didn't want to deal with that but maybe I'll insert that footage here of me switching out the hangers in my closet so this is my closet right now half of it there's another half but I'd have to slide the doors down but just so you get the idea that's what my closet looks right now it's very tight lots of hangers sticking up like that and this is what my closet looks like now that I changed all of the hangers out I think it definitely created more space and I like how uniform the look is I can actually like move my hangers around now like I have space in here whereas before I really had zero space to move my hangers and it was quite annoying but I really like those hangers I was a little hesitant about the velvet because I knew that it would like stick to the clothing and it's kind of hard to put your clothes on the hanger but I really don't think it's that bad after I changed all of it out and now that I've been using them for a couple of weeks I think it was definitely worth switching to the velvet hangers to have the extra space and I like how they look I just like how thin they are and that they're gray and pretty rose gold I just like it and now I am going to head out to the store well first I have to put all the stuff on my list and then I'll leave for the store it is so cold and windy out I am over it people! I am over it. Please go away. First I'm going into Target because I have just a few things to get in there before I go to the grocery store. Summer! Yes! Now I'm going into the grocery store to get food items. grocery store now and I'm gonna go back home but first I'm gonna stop to get a Starbucks because I have been craving one got my iced coffee now I'm on the way home whenever I was getting my iced coffee I ordered it and the lady was like you want an iced vanilla latte and I was like 
Yes. <laughs> she probably actually didn't mean anything by that and I'm just inflecting my own insecurities onto her. What else is new? The human condition. Isn't it lovely? I'm back from the grocery store now, so I thought I would do a little grocery store haul and show you what I got. This is what I got. I feel like all of my hauls are basically the same because I always get the same things. Eloise is going to try to jump over here. I bet you any money. But anyway, here's what I got. I got salad stuff for lunches. Ben drinks the LaCroix. I think this is the pineapple, yeah, pineapple strawberry. Carrots for salads. I got potatoes, which I'll make with chicken probably tomorrow. Cucumber for salads. Brussels sprouts, which I'll make with the chicken. Jalapeno chips, which, which Ben likes. Eloise, get down. You know you're not allowed up here. I let her go on the garbage can, but not on the counter. And usually she's good about it, but she's being a little rascal right now. Stop it. Stop. I got this bread. I usually get a different kind of bread, but I thought I'd try this because it looks a little more healthy. Whenever I get the um, nature's own bread, I feel like it lasts so long that there's no way that is natural. <laughs> like there has to be something in it that makes it not go moldy. And that's a little bit unsettling to me. So I got this one because it says it's organic. And I don't really know. We'll see how it tastes. It looks like it'll be good, but we'll try it. Got time to put in the vegetables with the chicken. This bread is for tonight for the spaghetti with meatballs. Avocados, because I like to make avocado toast during the week. I got this stock cold brew coffee, which is the not too sweet kind. I really like this. It's very mild tasting. So sometimes I prefer like a bitter tasting coffee and that is not bitter, it's very mild. I can drink it black without milk in it, as you saw probably the other day. So sometimes I like that, but most of the time I use my Nespresso machine. It's just sometimes I want cold coffee and that's a pretty good option if you like cold coffee and you don't wanna go to Starbucks, which I did today. But if you don't wanna spend the money at Starbucks during the week, then that is a good option. Cheez-Its, extra toasty. If you're a fan of Cheez-Its, these are my favorite. I got French bread pizzas, pepperoni. I really love French bread pizzas. I don't eat them often, but I like to have them in the freezer just in case I don't have food one day, then I can reach for that. I got Kind Bars. This is my favorite, caramel almond sea salt. Got chicken for tomorrow. And I got breakfast sausage for the weekend. I have eggs in the fridge already, but I thought I could make that this weekend for breakfast. And that is it. My grocery haul for today. I really need to go through my fridge and clean it out. Ugh, but I hate doing that. I'm gonna do it though. I have a dishwasher that's just full of dirty Tupperware I had in the fridge, <laughs> so gonna run that now. I'm done cleaning now and I feel so much better now that my whole apartment is clean. I cleaned the kitchen, the living room, my desk area, bedroom, bathroom, got it all, hit all the key points. And now my apartment is spotless, yas. But now I have to face the fact that I have to write my opening for trial ad and I just don't feel like doing it. I really do not. But I have to. I really don't want to do it. I don't want to. I might just laze around for like an hour. It's 4.30 right now. 
if I do nothing for an hour, I'll still have five hours to write it if I go to bed at 10.30. Hmm. Should I do it or should I just do it now? Yeah, I'm gonna wait an hour. <laughs> Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. later on now what time is it 11 30. it's 11 30 so i'm going to go to bed i'm gonna take off my makeup and get into bed i wrote half of my opening i'm gonna write the other half tomorrow before my practice but for now let's get ready for bed la 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 bedtime oh yeah Okay, you're scratching me now. Makeup is off, PJs are on, and I am going to bed now. Say goodnight, Ben. Goodnight. <laughs> Ben's studying in bed. Very studious. Oh, my face is all red. And I am ending the vlog here. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.